Yeah. No, I kid you not. Uh, these are actual funeral home names. Am I Gone Funeral Home uh, in Buffalo, New York. And in Chicago, uh, the Hollerback Funeral Home. <laughs> Just, there you are. Okay. One of the challenges of starting a business is coming up with a catchy name. If you're opening a hair salon, you might want something to stop customers in their tracks and come on in. Something like, here we are, <laughs> or hair to please, or better yet, hair force one. Some like a clever play on words like comb as you are, a cut above, or how about Jack the Clipper? No, 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 no! Here are some real business names that are a cut below. Jitters Coffee Shop. <laughs> Jitters, can't concentrate. Got the shakes, come on in, get some more. That'd make a great slogan. Sometimes it's not a good idea to use your own name in a business endeavor. Uh, one example is the ill-chosen Stubbs Prosthetics. Three gentlemen with unfortunate names formed a divorce lawyer's firm, Ditcher, Quick, and Hyde. Terrible! You'll also want to use caution with the word gas. Uh, a blinking sign on a service station says, Cheryl's, eat here, get gas. Another bad idea was pass more gas and propane. That's true. Reminds me of a sign I saw at a service station, kids with gas eat free. Beautiful. Here are a few more unfortunate names. Frying Nemo Fish and Chips. Hey kids, let's go eat your favorite animated character. An Asian restaurant is called Ninkum Soup and a dentist office, Fiddler on the Tooth. I like it. I think the worst one I've ever seen is Sam and Ella's Chicken Palace. <laughs> Sam and Ella. I wonder if they got visits from the food inspectors twice a week. Sam and Ella. You know, our friends Greg and Chrissy named their two dogs Sam and Ella. <laughs> Honorable mention goes to the fish and chip restaurant, The Codfather a pet grooming shop, Indiana Bones, Temple of Groom, and the Chinese restaurant, Walk and Roll. The worst funeral home name undoubtedly belongs to Am I Gone Funeral Home. Do you remember that one? Hmm? And the worst cemetery name of all is in Wood County, Texas, Little Hope Cemetery. Someone said uh, people are dying to get in here, but who wants to be buried where there's little hope? Not long ago, our friend Faye, a contagious laugher, devoted follower of Jesus, and lover of people, passed away far too young. Hundreds traveled to her remote community to say goodbye. The town hall was packed. People stood. The nearby church was empty, so they filled it too. All were struck by the brevity of life, so they mourned and remembered and celebrated and even laughed. Faye loved her music loud and joyful, so the band cranked it up. She loved Jesus, so the preacher turned up the hope. Amid sadness, there was rejoicing. Amid pain, there was the assurance of healing to come. Faye's brother Kurt and I share grandchildren. Our three-year-old grandbaby held on to him, saw the tears and said, if I hug you lots, will it go away? Hugging helped, of course. But often our pain is too great to bear, isn't it? So we turn to the only one who can help us bear it. For Faye, death was a doorway to the greatest life imaginable. In life and death, she overflowed with hope. Where would we be without the hope of heaven, she sometimes said. The grand confidence that there's a family reunion a-coming. From personal experience, I can tell you that there is nothing like a Christian funeral. 1 Thessalonians 4 tells us why. Brothers and sisters, it says, we do not want you to be uninformed about those who sleep in death, so that you do not grieve like the rest who have no hope. For we believe that Jesus died and rose again, and so we believe that God will bring with Jesus those who have fallen asleep in him. We believe, as did Faye, that Jesus conquered death, and one day soon we too will rise from it. 
Such news makes the muscles around my mouth tug the corners upward into a grin that sometimes turns to laughter. I smile when I see a veterinary clinic sign like Dog and Cat Repair, or the Thai restaurant Titanic, or the hot dog place Mustard's Last Stand. <laughs> but the purest joy and the greatest laughter come from being forgiven and promised eternal life, from remembering that no one who loves Jesus is buried in Little Hope Cemetery. People ask me, how do you guys do this? And I got to tell you, we can't do this without donations from people like you. So thanks for them. And uh, if you're not given yet, go ahead, click the link below. We need you. Thanks for your partnership. Bless you.